Let's have a look at it first. So we have the up and down bulbs in the middle with the device so that power from each of them bulbs can run the bell. That's the blue wire at the bottom there. Then everything else is a floor position indicator. I think it's a lower ground, ground, one, two. Yeah, and then it goes up, down, three, four, five, six. Uh, we have a couple of those resistors on there as well. And that would appear to be run off of the common for the up and the down lamps. And then there's one right at the end here, which comes from the common from all of the floor position lamps. I would like to power this up. Um, see it's come from a left hand lift but I don't really want to have lots of connection block on here so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire this up properly have the wires coming through the back of the unit there then we're going to put the lid on uh, before we look at the lid let's have a look at these bulbs because there's some different types in here we have rounded bulbs Um, that one is slightly squared off. Another rounded bulb. That one is slightly different. But this is my favourite one. Check out this one. But you can see somebody rattling around inside that one, so I don't think that's going to work. We're going to try it anyway to see if it does. 100 to 130 volts. All right, now the one I want to look at is this one. In actual fact, if I remove this one at the same time, we can see the difference. It appears to be the same manufacturer, but look at the top of that. I don't know, it looks like, a, like an ice cube. Yeah, I don't think this one's going to work. So we've got one bulb missing. Um, I might have one for that actually. I do have some spare bulbs. Um, these have been sitting on my desk for probably about two or three years now. And uh, well, they were donated by somebody. And um, they fit in here. It must have been an express bulb. Okay, we've got one left and possibly got some more of these as well. So this is very similar to the up down display panel for the landings but obviously this has got the lift position included but behind well that's quite familiar we've got the segments which are divided up by these if there is such a thing as a beautiful bulb um, that is it here we go oh my goodness me 
That was loud. We've got the segments, which are divided up by these, these Z pieces of metal here. Um, so these obviously just slot in, and there's a cutout at the front for them. But if you look at the digits for the numbers, this looks like some kind of resin that's been filled into the gap. Now if you look at number four, how are they floated that piece of metal in the middle there? I mean, normally you would cut this out, I would imagine by some kind of laser or engraving machine, uh, which would then mean you would have to leave a little bit just to hold that bit in the middle there. But when I show you the other side, you can see how they've done it. You've got a standard Z-shaped pieces of metal which have been clipped in to create them individual segments for the lamps to go into. And then going on to the digits, these are slightly different because they've used these segments to, looks like they've put some resin and it soaked through to the other side. So let's look at number four. And you can see how they've done that, just to hold that middle piece in position. Then when the resin sets, obviously that's not going to move at all. So let's have a look at number six, because that's the same kind of situation, where there is a piece of metal that's in the middle that's like floating, and same sort of thing. Looks like there's something else in there, beyond the resin, that's holding that in position. That seems to be some kind of seal to stop the resin from coming out of the chamber next to it. So it would seem that they put these Z pieces in to create the segments. Then afterwards they've had to put that, that black seal then when they've done that, they've filled up these segments full of resin. You can see a slight indent there where some of the resin's gone through a little bit further than the rest of it. So any resin that went through would have then been filed down to make it flush. So nowadays, all that would be done via an LED dot matrix display which is not anywhere near as exciting as looking at one of these old express panels. So next thing we want to see is this lighting up. I have now connected up the express panel. I have two cables coming in and each of the wires connects to a lamp. Not forgetting that the up and the down lamp both connect to the bell. And they connect via this device here so that if you put power on this bulb, it doesn't light the bulb next to it. Instead, it goes through this diode device and it gives power to the bell. Now also, not forgetting that the bell is running off of an AC current rather than a DC current. And that means that the bell will ring. It will probably bang 50 times per second. But the only way I'm gonna stop that from happening and make it go ding once is to put a DC current, which I don't have. Instead, I'm using 110 volt transformer that's normally used on building sites. 240 in, 110 out. I do have a theory behind these resistors. This is a 220 ohm resistor, 7 watts, and there's two of them. There's one there, and there's one there. Now, this one brings the common from the bell and the up and the down lamps through this resistor all the way down to this block here, which is where the commons are terminated. The other resistor is right at the end here. Now this is connected to the commons for all the other bulbs, all the four bulbs. My theory is this. If there was a problem with the lamp and it caused a short circuit, then a short circuit won't be able to get directly to the control cabinet. This will heat up instead. So I think this resistor here is to prevent a short circuit from a bulb, blowing perhaps, or maybe a problem with the bell, or anything in here causing a problem in the control cabinet. Instead, the short circuit will be taken up by this resistor. 
it will get really hot just for an instant but it won't affect or it won't take out any fuses in the control cabinet. So that's my theory behind these resistors. Over here I have two cables. One of the cables is connected to the grounds coming from these lamps and the up and down lamps and I've doubled them up and I'll put them into the terminal. All the other wires do lamps on the panel here so it's just a matter of me dabbing these in and see if they work. Now don't forget we've got 110 volts here. I have to be a little bit careful. It's one of the reasons I'm wearing these gloves so I can't get an electric shock off of anything. All right, first lamp should be this one here. Lovely. Next one. Doesn't work. That lamp is blown, I think. It's the green wire. Yep. White wire. Doesn't work. Then I have the pink and slate wires. Now these are the up down lamps and the bell. Don't forget this will ring like an alarm rather than just a single ding. And the lamp doesn't work. Down we'll do exactly the same thing. Let's see if the lamp works or not. One ding! That's because of the resistor. So that resistor has stopped the current from running that bell continuously. It's an AC supply so the bell is just trying to ring continuously. You can hear it. It's trying to but it just can't do it. Okay, we're swapping to the other cable now. So, yellow, that works. That's not very bright at all. Remember, this should be DC. Um, this one is not working either. Green, that's much brighter. Last one. Okay, I think we've got some lamps to replace. Yes, that one was okay. Now the pink wire. <laughs> that just made me jump. <laughs> that is not very bright. I'm not happy with that lamp at all. Um, might change that for one of these. I'm wondering if these lamps should be a bit brighter than this and if they were on a DC voltage then they might be much brighter. Okay, that's a bit better. Now we've got the panel working, let's put the front on. The front has a couple of Allen keys. That doesn't seem to be going anywhere. That's it. First lamp. Oh, nice. Ground floor. Doesn't work. Okay, fair enough. Let's try the next one. One. Note that these are have an orange colour, whereas the Otis panel is more of a whiter colour. This is going to do the up lamp and the bell. Nice.
Cool. Right, where was I? Oh, down. I've done down. Onto this cable now. Three. That's not very bright. Four. Nice. Five. And six. <laughs> and I have to do it. Everything together. Now, I don't know what this is going to do, because this means all the current has to go through them resistors. So this is probably going to light up all of these ones. You got six and five. As each lamp comes on, it demands more current. And if you've got two on at the same time, then the current is shared between the lamps. Two down. <laughs> Up and down together. Current shared between the bulbs. Nice. There you go. Thank you.